guys. Tom is back with another LinkedIn's video. The wifey is here as well. Say hello, wifey. Hello. All right, I have four fragrances in front of me. But before I get into that, I just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that brand new Macintosh. Maybe you're still watching me somehow, some way on that floppy disk. Whatever the way, wherever you're watching, it is an honor. And again, everything is much appreciated. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and likes. Everybody likes a like. Don't we all like likes? You like the way you look. You like the way I write. You like the way I drive. Everyone likes a like. So with that being said, let's finally get into these fragrances. Now, this is actually kind of like a fan edition fragrance since this was a trade and I... A pretty decent trade, if I do say so myself. We are talking about the lineup 4711. Now, you guys know one of them is like the original uh, Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. It's like the original, the, the one that started it all. And that uh, We do have that one in front of me, and then we have like three of the flankers, okay? Now, the thing with these are they are all EDCs, Eau de Cologne. So, you're looking at about 5% oil concentration, maybe 10 at the highest so these are most likely going to be great just for a quick outdoorsy thing. Like you just need maybe three hours of smelling good, three to four hours of smelling good. You just rock these or just use them as a room freshener. So whatever the cause of you using these fragrances, that's what it's for. Okay, so this again is 4711. This is the original 4711. This is the one that is supposed to smell like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino and I actually just sprayed it a little while ago. The wifey didn't smell it, so I'm going to spray it on her hand, actually. This is actually real feminine, so it's actually oh, a good. nice unisex. This is going to be that nice, it's going to have that Neroli, that nice white floral citrus fresh smell, which is very nice. Just in the air, it's just, just it's a clean. very easy, clean fragrance. And if you've never smelled the Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, you never really smelled anything that has that bright orange citrusy neroli. This actually is not a bad way to go. Looking at about 30 bucks or give or take. And it's just literally citrusy, fresh, white florals. That's it. This is about as basic as you're going to get, but it does it really well. No sheen really no sheen no this is not a high oil concentration so your hand will be just as dry as it was before you sprayed it so dryer. <laughs> exactly so maybe put some uh if you want to make this thing last a little bit longer maybe some unscented lotion maybe a little bit of vaseline that'll help but again these are just edc's old cologne so do not expect these things to last a long time do not expect them to reject these are literally just probably for self-service, pretty much. If you want to smell good, you just know you smell good. You're probably going to have to pull your clothes away just to get the whiff because you're probably not going to get whiffs throughout the day with this thing. So they are there for that. Hair? Probably in the hair because you got oils and stuff in there, so that will probably work. Um, probably better on clothes as well. Spray these on a nice little sweater or something. But, yeah, this is definitely going to be great for the spring, summer, again, just – if you just need something for about three to four hours, bring this along with you. The bottles are actually very nice. Take a look at that. It's kind of got this old school look, especially this one. Like an 1800s type bottle. Maybe this was created 4711 BC. Who knows? But maybe that's what that number is for. But uh, there you go. Overall, nice looking bottle. I actually like them. Fit well in the hand. And if you put this in a pocket, it's not going to be too bulky. So... Next up, these are kind of newer releases, I think, and these are pretty much, they're called 4711, but these are called the Remix Limited Edition. And looking at all the colors, they're got pretty. a purple, got a orange, and then we got this yellow, okay? So, I mean, yeah, they're probably going to be all unisex, but I'm almost assuming these are going to be more feminine. So, let's spray this purple one first, 4711 purple. Now... You know, on the bottle, it doesn't say, like, what the name of this one is. It's just Remix Cologne. So that's why I'm calling it Remix Cologne Purple. Maybe just go off the color of the bottle, and then you just go from there. So oh, let's I see. didn't realize those were tops. Spray this one on the left hand. We will show you that we're spraying. Nice two-spray. Uh, man, comes out really wet, but uh, dries up pretty fast. So, uh, yeah. fellas, you're going to have to do a better job if you want to keep it 
more moist, okay? But here we go. I'm actually getting little whiffs of it from here. Um, it's definitely much different. It's definitely got that crisp, citrusy uh, take again. Like Maybe a, a little dash of like fruit. There's definitely some florals in there as well. Maybe something like a of a purpley flower, not like a white flower, like a neroli, if you will, or a lily or anything yeah, like that. It's maybe more of a purpley flower. Maybe um, uh, maybe. I don't know no purple flowers. I just say purple flowers. So um, that one smells good though. Um, again, like for what one. they are, you know, if you're gonna use it to just freshen up a room, maybe you're gonna freshen up the bathroom after you destroy it. Um, however you use it, again, you're gonna probably get, you'll be lucky to get four hours with these things. So these are really work, right? great for work. Something that where you're not gonna want to offend anybody. It'd be a good purse um, spray, like you have it in if your you're purse. Jumping on an airplane, you just want to smell good. You don't want the person next to you like whiffing and going crazy. It's actually pretty good. Let me smell it one more time. Yeah, I would say like for work, like if you have to go into the office so, for a little bit. Yeah, good. that right. little bit of like citrus is kind of fading a little bit, but now it's kind of turning into this cottony, oh, really? this this cottony, florally fresh, maybe musk, um, kind of powdery a little bit. But that one is actually pretty good. So it starts off kind of citrusy, little purple flowers, if you will. And then it kind of gets this powdery, fresh smell. Okay, so that's that. Next up, 4711 Remix Cologne Yellow Edition. Again, doesn't say what the name of this yellow one is. So I'm just going with Yellow Edition. Maybe this will have a nice, uh, huge blast of lemon at first. And maybe some yellow flowers, whatever lime. yellow flowers are. I never get a perfume or cologne with lime in it. I'm going out smelling all sorts of ways. So I'm expecting this to smell lemony, maybe candy-like. Oh. It almost has this lemon, like man, from in the air. Definitely, it does have a nice blast of lemon. Nice, fresh, lemony. Kind of, if you just took that peel of the lemon, just a little peel of the lemon you squeeze a little bit get those oils you make a drink up. that smells like this it does nice little lemon nice tom collins but that is super lemony um like that it. is literally like if she was to just go out there and just squeeze some lemon on her and then rub the skins on her as well it's super lemony a light little freshness little sugar. maybe a little sugar because it does have kind of like this little bit of sweetness so almost like a lemonade if you will Maybe take that lemon, little lemonade tonic, lemonade with tonic. Getting a little, like, uh, so lemon, a little bit of sweet, maybe some light florals in there. But again, all of these are very similar so far. Florals, light, crisp, fresh, just something just to wake you up a little bit, okay? Um, so that one I like too. That one's actually nice. I'm actually, it's between this one and the original so far is my favorites. But we got one more and that is the orange edition. Orange, you happy that we are doing this video? <sighs> a little corny, but orange, you happy. Orange, you happy, 4711. We are going to spray this last one. Hopefully, the wife does not break out later tonight. In hives. In hives, but here we go. So, maybe this one will have a nice little blast of oranges and then florals. So, let's see. It does. It, it it does have that. It almost smelled similar to the lemony one, but as you know, orange has a little bit less of that sourness. Orange is more of a little bit more sweet. So that one kind of came off like citrusy sweet right off the back, where this yellow one kind of came off pretty sour right off the top. Okay, the sugar kind of comes in a little bit later with the yellow edition. The forty seven eleven orange kind of came off orangey, if you will. Like sugary orange. Maybe there's even a little hint of ginger in there as well because I do have a few fragrances that have orange and ginger in it. It kind of is smelling a little bit similar to those. But again, that one is orangey, kind of citrusy. Um, where is the original one that we sprayed? Let's see if that's even around anymore. That one's still there. Barely, but well, which one do this we one's there? pretty much gone. Whatever that was. Oh, I think that purple was that one. 
Yeah, purple is pretty much... Dawn. I mean, it's a slight freshness. That's it. It's very slight. But yeah, slight kind of little sugary, but that one was kind of gone. Lemon one. Lemon one has kind of got this almost like woody incense -y smell to it now. It's kind of like this woody incense -y, I like that one. Maybe um, kind of woody or something like that. Check that last orangey one. So the orange kind of has that orange sandalwood. Mm. The lemon one has kind of like the citrusy, almost incense -y smell. Kind of has this like weird smell, but it's actually pretty good. This one has no smell at all. So these aren't even going to last hours. I mean, although those two other ones, the yellow and orange, are actually smelling pretty good still. They're actually kind of really noticeable. But they're the newest But this sprays. purple one, this one is pretty much almost gone. Now, the original, the 4711 that we sprayed first, that's still noticeable. That's strong. That one's pretty strong. The original is pretty much kind of just a floral, it's kind of fresh, floral, musky smell right now that bright and aroli is pretty much gone, now, but it's one, kind of fresh. This one, the original one, like you said, that one might last a few hours. That one might last a few hours, so... This purple. It's this, this purple one. For some odd reason, this purple one has... You might use the whole half a bottle uh, before you even head out, and uh, that that's saying something. So um, with these, again, EDC, so you got to just take them for what they are worth. Now, if you're just more of a collector, you just want to get them for collectible reasons, there is a reason behind that. They do look nice. The bottles are very nice, elegant, you know, nice and easy. So if you're just a collector, you just want to collect those, then go right on ahead. But if you're using these, if you really just want these just for uh, the scent and, you know, just to smell good, you're going to get that, but you're just not going to get it for a long amount of time. So again, like I said, these are EDCs. You're not going to get much time with them. They're all going to be for the spring, summer. They all can be used for work situations. Maybe after the gym, you just want to smell fresh. Maybe you're just going out for the day. You're just walking along the, maybe going some uh, outdoor thrift shopping or something like that. Who knows? Use it for that. But you're not going to want to use those for anything else. Like if you're going on a wedding, you're going to have to bring that with you to, to keep fresh. So if you don't feel like putting one of these in your tuxes or your dresses, ladies, or your purses, That's probably just rock idea. something different. Okay. But yeah. again, Individually, they all smell great. They're yeah. all probably going to last about maybe two to four hours max. Not the purple. Not the purple. Purple is 10 minutes max. So uh, a 10 minute fragrance. But see, these are actually still strong. The lemon, that one just smells like a nice lemon head, if you will. Lemony, sweet, sugary, floral. This one, the purple. No, yeah, this is the orange. orange. The orange definitely has this nice orangey kind of sweet woody smell almost like sandalwood i'm thinking because it has like this creaminess to that orange one and again the original let's see if the original is still going still kicking original one's starting to fade a little bit but it's still there it's still noticeable it's just fresh it's kind of floral just fresh and floral that's it but again for what they are now the problem the only problem i have with these now okay one more thing i would say if you're going to get these just for the collecting, for collecting, then just get them. But for smelling good, you're better off because these are kind of a little expensive for what they are. And it's probably because it's a more of a nostalgia type thing. Once you got this one, you kind of want to get all the new ones. So it's more of a nostalgic thing. You're better off maybe, if you don't want to spend much money, even check out Zara, Zara's lineup. They got plenty of different fragrances. They're going to last longer than these. A lot of them are EDPs, EDTs. These are just EDCs. So... With that being said, I would only recommend these for people that just want to collect, okay? So I'm not going to re recommend these for if you want to smell good and you want to, you think you're going to get a long-lasting scent because they're not going to do that. But for collectors, grab it, okay? But there you go. Which one did you like the most out of all those? Though? I really like the purple one. The purple one was nice. It just faded. Let's get one more fresh spray on it real quick. Which one? That was the back of that hand, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Let's do one more fresh spray just to see if we can relive that magical moment that the <laughs> smell was, which is actually very nice. The crazy thing is, it's like you really get a nice whiff in the air. It's like it's mm -hmm. it's literally lingering not that far out in the air, but it's in this little 
circumference area. It's mm -hmm. there. It's nice and floral. It's got a little sweetness, like maybe some kind of... You know what? Actually, I'm kind of thinking... I, I was hoping I could have This is one. maybe more lavenderish. I think. This purple one, I think, might have a little bit of lavender. Because yep. it has that lavenderish potpourri type smell, mm -hmm. if you will. Lavenderish potpourri. Lavender. So, um, again, there you go. That one is a fresh spray. Hopefully, that will last that a now. little bit longer, but... Maybe an extra five minutes. <laughs> there you go. Extra five minutes. Extra five minutes is all she wants, right? Unfortunately, the fragrance nor us will give her that. So, with that being said, we are going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comments, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.